Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Why do I feel like there have always been these weird black bars on the top and bottom of the screen? What's going on with it? Maybe I accidentally adjusted the window size. You get to watch me troubleshoot like in real freaking time now. Options. Oh, what have I done? Full screen on. And then full screen off. And the black bars come. Whatever, maybe I'll play Isaac in full screen now. It'll probably look better anyway. Welcome back. Uh, we're due for a new run today. That's true, in case you've been wondering, I typically play Isaac in windowed 720. Like, actually, it's windowed 640 by 360. Oh shit, Scissor's Tiny Planet. The PHP, the PHP is the best programming language. 9HWD. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a, a, it's a wild star, let's just put it that way. Um, the scissors are an item I use so little, I don't fully understand really how to use them, to be honest with you. It's like reverse shears. It, it, I guess it creates like a dupl- if you, like, if you look at the actual mechanics, it's very easy, easy, easy to say like, uh, oh, here's what it does, you know, it makes your body separate from your head, your body moves around faster. But what it effectively does, at least the way that I'm seeing it right now from a functional standpoint, is that it makes it so that uh, you're firing twice as many tiers in two different locations. You're basically like borderlandsing it up. You're creating like your own turret. Man, this is a fucking terrible start. Um, I, you know, I, I do take Tiny Planet when it shows up from time to time. I find it uh, interesting. I find it occasionally kind of fun. However, uh, in this particular situation, I'm not having a fantastic time. And also, fuck this room. And also, uh, I hate Tiny Planet when we have so little HP. If you have a lot of HP, you can kind of roll with it a little bit more. With so little HP, it's not good, man. We're already a minute and something into this run. Looking a little bit goddamn ridiculous. Please. Please! <laughs> get in range of my attacks! I can't get close to you because the spiders can get me. The goblins will take me. Okay, we'll take a uh, black lipstick here. Man, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this run, I gotta be honest with you. I'm feeling real slow now that I don't have the shears. Actually, maybe the shears didn't actually make us faster and I'm just full of shit. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, good. The bomb is an important part of a, the daily balance breakfast. Money? Some spiders? Uh, we'll go back for that, but for now I figured let's just despawn the spiders. Every spider we don't have to fight is just great news. Figure we'll try to blow up the TNT, just create a little niche for ourselves in here. We're gonna, there's a very narrow subset of items that are actually like worthwhile for us now as a result of our kind of, you know, niche starting options. I'm not a, an amazing fan of, of what's happening here. I actually think I want to go back to windowed mode as well. I know people have no tolerance for fucking around with the options here, uh, but we're gonna do it nonetheless. And I'll, I'll adjust it on the fly, personally, so you can see how much of a consummate professional I am. Any enemy that gets close to us is like the ultimate liability. Give us some bombs, give us uh, brimstone, give us your bones. Give us anything we can get here. Give us your vote if you know what's good for you. Like, we got a whole bunch of different things that we can take advantage of here. I don't want really an extra charge on the scissors right now. I understand how it could be useful and at the same time I I don't uh, see myself using it super effectively. I'd almost rather have anything else. Okay, give me a moment here. Options. Full screen. Off. Stretch the window a little bit. What does this look like? There's still some black bars, which means we need to make it taller. Ah, there we go. Something about this resolution looks a little strange, but we're gonna go with it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll look at this in. Uh, I'll look at this in the off time for now. Maybe this looks normal. I don't know. That's the thing is like when you get used to one resolution and then you start playing in a different resolution, it looks totally messed up. I actually really like playing on a smaller screen size. I'm a weirdo like that. I mean, when it comes to like games where texture quality is extremely important and you want like a huge scope, you want to really feel the scope of the environments and stuff like that. Yeah, man, full screen, 1080p or, you know, 4K if you have a 4K monitor. I totally get it. 
But for a lot of stuff, I find it nice to play it in the, in a windowed mode. You know, my eyes have less space they need to focus on it. It almost feels like, you know how, like, pro Counter-Strike players, some of them... Uh, at least up until recently played on 4x3 and, like, super low settings. There might be some actual, like, functional purpose for that as well, but, uh... This one might as well try this here. Oh, you know what I should have done? Probably is popped the, uh... Popped the, uh, scissors on a path that the big haunt will be stuck on. So that he'll have to run into the head. I don't know if it would actually hit, but it might. Um... Anyway, it's just less room for your eyes to have to move, man. I'm... F fuck this. I hate it. I hate it! I hate it! <laughs> okay. So what do we do? Well, on the bright side, it's a lot easier to hit the haunt with Tiny Planet than it would be to hit most enemies. On the, you know, negative side, of course, one hit will literally kill us right now. And we have no bombs with which to kind of facilitate going any faster here. And also, I have no idea how my best friend will affect uh, the haunts. I have no idea if it's going to goad him into attacks at different intervals or what. Please don't kill me. Just let me win this one, please. Ah, uh, we got it. We got it so close. Okay, we lived and we got caffeine pill. Fudge, yeah. Oh, range downgrade. With Tiny Planet, that's like a super nice... Pickup, that's extremely valuable. Very important. Is that like, have there always been these huge black bars on this on the left side of the screen? What am I doing now? Oh, this is just a disaster. Okay, I'll tell you what, here we go. In, 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 in. in. And then this is the right resolution. The bars are getting smaller, so is the screen, though. I'm so confused. I need to, like, relaunch the game from scratch. Whatever, though. We need this. We're fucked. Uh, we have we have a serious, serious problem on our hands here, and that is uh, not only that I'm having some kind of weird, you know, problem with my visual acuity, but actually that, uh, well, you know, what the heck am I going to do? We got one HP, we're on the cellar, we got Tiny Planet, no damage upgrades, Curse of the Blind is irrelevant. We have bigger problems right now. Uh, our spacebar item is the scissors. There's nothing positive that I can say about this run. We started with no HP, basically. One spirit heart, but with Tiny Planet, that can get eroded pretty quickly. This floor has to bring it back. It doesn't have to just keep us alive, although that's step one, I guess. It has to, it has to give us a chance at... Getting one of those items that, or a combination of items that allow us to compensate for the fact that Tiny Planet makes it nearly impossible to hit something early in the game without any synergies. Without getting hit yourself, or at least putting yourself at a larger risk of that happening. I mean, we know exactly where to go to, like, hit this guy, and it's still taking forever. There we go. Three cents is not going to be what we need. Oh, this is a... We're, we're damned, man. This room is a disaster. Stay away. The other danger is that we could actually knock enemies into us if we catch them on the wrong part of the cycle here in their animation. Or in the, in the animation of the tiny planet bullets is what I mean to say. Come on. Yeah, that guy's got to go. That guy's got to He's so close. We did it. We lived. Are we going to fight the boss like this? I actually think most of the time I'm pretty aggressive about that, but I actually think that we can't. Like if I fight the boss, I'm fucked. So there goes our deal with the devil chance. Probably. I'm trying not to be negative about it, but that does lower it by about two-thirds. Which is, uh, consider, uh, considerable. Anarchist Cookbook. Oh, I mean... Maybe? As long as it doesn't kill us on this room, and it could allow us to get something out of it. Enough money to buy a Spirit Heart from the shop. We got the chest as well. Uh, and we'll totally buy the spirit heart because we need it to survive. Let's not even worry about our deal with the devil chances, but um, that did something for us. I can't remember if we have the scissors charged up. I can't remember if I if I care <laughs> if we have the scissors charged up. Um, I almost feel like we got to go to the curse room, but ideally it would be adjacent to a secret room, which it. Could be, but is extremely unlikely. We have four bombs. That does give us a way out. If we have a, a boss that we can hit with bombs, that's a start. 
Mm, I, I basically traded one side for the other side. Wow. Uh, disappointment. We'll go back. We'll take the scissors. I might be able to use it effectively. I mean, it, maybe we're, this is going to be the run that is going to teach me how to use the scissors the, the best way that I know how. Although we won't be able to use it against this boss because I was busy charging up Anarchist Cookbook to its pen, penultimate charge for no reason. Uh, this is okay. We're alive at the very least. And, you know, there's, there's something to be said for that, I suppose. And there's two more cents for us. Which was probably not worth the bomb, but uh, that's okay. It happens. Thank God it's a pin fight, at least. Like, it, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. But it's probably the easiest boss we could face right now. So, uh, I'm, I'm just very, very thankful for that. There is a small chance that uh, I could recover my morale by actually getting a deal with the devil right now. At the very least, just a half-decent boss item. And that, it's a very broad criteria or category right now. HP... Tears, damage, spirit hearts, any combination thereof. It's okay. As we head down to the next floor, pretty much living in exactly the same predicament we were in mere moments ago. But we need to get a deal with the devil on this floor. Um, you know, we're on the caves now. This is the real shit. Or at least it's approaching the real shit. Come on. You're so close. Oh, dumb damage. Dumb damage. It's all right. This is uh this is the run that separates the the true OG players from the imposters, the mythical binding of Isaac imposters I'm always hearing about causing trouble with their imposter related behaviors. Hey, put a bomb down. I mean, the problem is I can't put a bomb down to blow up the mushrooms while we have Tiny Planet active because it's it stands a really good chance to just get knocked away. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Come on. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to be close. We've already lost our spirit heart, basically. If I was going to lose it, should have just uh, taken it to the curse room on the last floor. We got one pill. Health up! Hey, It's something! I appreciate that. We could literally go into our curse room without dying. What a... what a tricky opening to a run. What happened to the... the good days of Eden, man? This is like the Family Matters theme song. Days go by, you get the shitty seeds on your rebirth run. Doobity boop boop boo, it's goobity boobity boop boo. I don't really remember the whole theme song, but there's a lot of that like sax type stuff going on. Please. These guys are just the fucking worst right now. I have surprisingly good accuracy against that one. See if we can replicate that here. We landed one shot there. Yo, boss rush, don't even fucking talk to me about playoffs. I just hope we can win a game. We're not doing anything here. Well, all we gotta do is hang tight and do damage when we can do it, man. It's like straight up all we have at our disposal is our dodging ability. And what's great about it is that sometimes our dodging ability makes it harder for us to actually hit the enemies, which at this point just feels like it's a little bit overkill. Gotta kill the mobile spiders. They're all pretty mobile, but we gotta kill the fucking... that. Nah, there we go. That, that'll do it. Chain reaction there was nice. We can get... Uh, now we can get three at most, so we might as well do these ones. Okay. Fair enough. I think we have to do it now. Uh, I was thinking that maybe we'd do it later. But, truth be told... Uh, and, and truth be told, I should say, Stigmata is not... Uh, it's not going to win us the game. A little deceptive in terms of, like, it, it turns your tears red. So you think, oh, this is amazing. But it's actually, it's great, but amazing might be a little bit of an overblown way to describe it. Um, but I figure we take it now, even if this ends up being a tough room uh, and we lose our devil chance. Like, we're pretty likely to lose our devil chance regardless. I might as well have greater HP and greater uh, damage for as much of the floor that's remaining as possible. I think that's what gives us the best chance overall. So that's, it's a good pickup. It's the first pickup that I really feel super positive about. And yes, that that includes um, Punching Bag. There are times when I like Punching Bag quite a lot. Um, and there's times when I 
I'm not an enormous fan of it. Come on, land leg. There we go. I'll pick it up right now. Not our boss fight, but a way out nonetheless. A chance, per chance, for us to get... Uh, Oh, that's pretty big too. For us to get a spirit heart and maybe something else now. We gotta get the spirit heart. I would love PhD, but we gotta get the spirit heart. If we get some more cash, maybe find the secret room, we can justify that, but... For now, we gotta, you know, our, our true allegiance just lies in getting any item that can basically nullify. And that's, that is what I mean. Oh my god, at least we had the spirit heart, but that's a shitty way to lose it. Um, that's on me. Been saying that a lot recently, but that one is very true. We'll take the moon. Two keys, yeah. Man, this is a very, very touchy run. Just every every little factor involved here is trending towards badness. For example. <sighs> okay, well this room, it's tough. But if we can take out the dudes on the sides, then it doesn't really matter. There's other ways out of this. We don't need Brimstone or Death's Touch specifically. We could get a lot of damage. That's one way. An attack fly would help out so much. Just a single attack fly. RoboBaby 2.0 almost makes me feel good. Let's go back and get that. That does put us in a very likely position to be able to snag the PhD, I think. Like, RoboBaby 2.0, if we could just fly, RoboBaby 2.0, with enough patience, could get us out of this. There we go. Headless Horseman is not the boss we want to be fighting right now, that's for sure. And we're gonna just fight it as if we don't have RoboBaby 2.0, because the more we fire... Uh, wait, why is, like... Our head is shooting out like, are you a wizard shots or something. It's looking very strange. No! We were doing relatively well on this floor. All right, I can't fly. Man, if we have to rely pretty much exclusively on boss rooms to carry us this time, we're in a real bad spot. Wait, well, that is the ability to fly. I asked for ability to fly. Apparently there's money still available in this room. I asked for the ability to fly and we did get it. And I don't think we're going to be too sad about losing the scissors. Where's the money, Lebowski? Maybe I was confused. Uh, we're, we're slow. Not, not particularly slow, I guess. But we're a little slow and also, I don't have enough money to buy the PhD. Now that I actually look at it. Um... Uh, <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe I figured out the right way to do that, I guess is what I should be saying. I think we gotta buy a red heart, and maybe a bomb, I don't know, what's this, range down, oh fantastic. There's no bombs for sale. Uh, yeah, I, by buying the spirit heart I made it impossible for me to buy PhD. This one's tough, man. This is one of the ones where, uh, well, let's try it. Maybe we can get a bomb right early here and blow up our donation machine or something. It's not going to do it. We need to get nine cents. I say we just, yeah, go down to five. We could blow it up and maybe get enough to get PhD, but I want the chance at an arcade on the next floor. This is definitely one of those runs where if you had gotten that early deal with the devil, you're probably, you know, in Aruba by now, you know, having a great time, enjoying yourself. Uh, for the rest of us... Fudge, this is a, a very tricky one. I'm gonna experiment a little bit on this floor with actually using Robo Baby and just incredibly, you know, diligent defense as our main techniques. Like, I'm gonna hide out and we'll just use Robo Baby to deal as much damage as is humanly possible. Like, Robo Baby, come on, dog. What are you doing here? There's enemies, like, quite clearly around you. Another out for us? Blue Baby's only friend. Come on. There we go. Blue Baby's only friend would be a huge pickup. I hate that I'm doing this, but... Uh, this is the way that this run's looking, man. There we go. Had a good opportunity to deal a lot of damage there because of... Punching Bag. 
I kind of want to blow up these mushrooms still. Liberty cap? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it for now. And of course, immediately after we find a tinted rock. That's on me though. That's that's my bad. I should have saved the bomb bin a little bit more conservative there. Do we know if that's a shop or is that some kind of mythical double key room? Oh my god, I was standing in a position where I could have been hit. This one doesn't feel like it has the makings of a win here. I gotta be honest. And that maybe is my fault, but at the same time I'm feeling a little bit, you know, like the game's not making it easy on me. Or, you know, making it plausible. Alright, please, blow up the mushrooms. Find it in your heart to blow up some mushrooms. Thank you. Then we'll go down here. We'll try it down here instead. Give me the opportunity to get myself out of this mess game. Give me the tools I need. Give me a deal with the devil even though I don't necessarily deserve one. Hematomesis. Well, free red heart. The hollow. Pretty much straight up the easiest boss we could be fighting right now. Robo Baby 2.0 actually does something against it. We got it, we got it. Don't even need to use the active effect. This is our deal time. This is our deal with the devil time. Oh my god, we actually got one. Okay, Krampus, whatever, man. If it's Krampus, it's Krampus. Now we got unlimited deals with the devil. We're back in the game, baby. We can do it. We can do something here. Okay, this is a good start. I mean, okay, by good start, I mean, like, you know, we probably should have been in this position ages ago. And we're gonna single-handedly make RoboBaby 2.0 popular, man. We're gonna do it. If I get BFF here and RoboBaby 2.0 becomes viable for a few floors, that would be hilarious. I really do mean for a few floors. Even with... Even with BFF, I can't really see it being viable for the entirety of the game. And, you know, before you criticize a man, walk a mile in his shoes. If you're watching this and... First off, if you're watching this and saying, Oh my god, Northern Line got Goathead so lucky. A, you're right. But B... Goathead is no guarantee of a win. It helps, but it's definitely no guarantee. Secondly, you know, go play the seed yourself. Get the deals with the devil that you uh, earned and let me know how you did. I'm actually, like, on an intellectual level curious. And I don't wish that you, I don't wish you ill. I hope you do well. Um, but uh, I, I'm interested to know what this run could have been like if we'd gotten just some different stuff. Like, if we, if, if we maybe hadn't taken that extra hit on the... Basement 2 or Cellar 2, what possibly could have resulted, you know? We do have a double key room. Oh, I would reroll the shit out of this run. Even with Goathead. You know, this is like the, the textbook example of a reroll probably being very worthwhile. We need more keys, though. And at this point, I'm, I'm skeptical that we'll ever ask for anything and have it come to fruition. I know we got mini mush, not mega mush, but still. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's give it a try. That's that's, that's really good. That's really nice. All right, so this might be like there's no safe place for us right now. So probably what I'm thinking is we uh place a bomb. That wasn't what I meant to do, but I think I panicked as an enemy was getting close to me, and uh, hit the button. I was trying to use the active pony effect there. I we will use our. Oh, it's not going to be in one of those two locations. We will use our money to play the judgment if we don't get enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Now we need a key as well. Very lucky position there. We didn't get much back for it. So I'm going to play him. And uh, I don't know, man. Just just anything. <laughs> I'm not going to be picky. All right. Well, you did it to yourself. I can't be, you know, watching you at all times to make sure that shit doesn't happen. We've already been down here. We're at 21 minutes. Look. These runs don't end, man. These, uh, like, non-boss rush applicable runs, that's our new reality. Be ready for that. Oh, my God. It's like they issued a patch that made the game harder. Be careful what you wish for. Here we are. We can take out these guys, at least. Okay. 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's the ultimate number of trinkets. Oh, I really don't love the idea of looking for magic mushroom, like, 3x3 three three with our only bomb, but... I'm gonna do it. And that's an amnesia pill, so that's like super good. Very happy to have it. Not bitter at all. That's like our eighth amnesia pill. Why would I be? It doesn't make any sense. Just a game. It's certainly not all the cosmic forces of the universe fighting against you or anything. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I feel okay about that. Our very precious key. However, we got a decent amount of goodness out of it. And if we get enough money, we can get into our shop. There's another HP upgrade. A range upgrade. Hematomesis. Better than what we got going on there. And we can actually go into our curse room. Without worrying about it costing us a deal with the devil. For many reasons. Or possibly just killing us. Now the ultimate item for us, of course... Hmm. Let's try this. Ugh. Of course, if we could get um, Brimstone, that would be huge. Guppy would be huge. Brimstone's the big one, though. Mom's Knife doesn't take us out of this. It, it doesn't necessarily make it uh, better. In fact, it probably makes it worse. But I've only used it once. But it was so bad that after using it once, I vowed off of it forever. So that should tell you something. And I'm a big fan of Mom's Knife. But I'm starting to feel the momentum coming back in our direction. Ignore that. Box of tarot cards or deck of tarot cards. The tower. Hematomesis is better. And the tower is just, um, oh my god. The tower is just not useful uh, for us, really. Not with the ability to fly. Apart from that, lump of coal. Just an incredible rate of fire. Uh, technologies are pretty good with Tiny Planet, I think. Is this Robo Baby territory? These enemies can chase us down. But if we can, yeah, create like a choke point. It's like playing StarCraft now. Set up a choke point for Robo Baby to run the train on him. You got... Don't got it. That's all right. Let's get some let's get some cards here. Oh, Jesus. I don't I don't like this at all. I I never thought I'd say it. I prefer Robo Baby right here. All righty. Great luck uh, in that regard. Can't go in there yet. But we've got a deal with the devil. We have hope on every floor as a result. You know what? Robo Baby, just get in there, man. Get the job done. This is what you do. Man with a very particular set of skills. It's not going to be fast. That's for damn sure. But, you know, slowly but surely get the job done. This could be like a 90 minute long run the way this is looking right now. My principal damage dealer right now is RoboBaby 2.0 followed by the random tiny planet shots that I fire as I reposition RoboBaby 2.0. Depths one, depths one. All right, fighting war, and this is huge because we're getting an orbital out of it. The orbital would be very nice. In the meantime, if I get a little extra damage done like this, like I can't tell how much faster this is actually getting it done, but I think it is faster. And then I guess we're just gonna. We're gonna get War trapped in a corner, assuming his bombs haven't run, or like his bombs haven't broken all the corners, and uh, we'll hit him up with the Robo Baby. Excuse me, come here. Yeah, there we go. We'll hit him up with the Robo Baby combined. Come on, Robo Baby. Where's where you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why aren't you shooting? You should be shooting at him right now. I can't shoot and put you in the right position, Robo Baby. It's just not possible. So. You know, you're going to have to shoot, actually, if you're not scared. You can take the glory. That's fine by me. Oh, just speedy, speedy conquest here to finish the fight. I shouldn't have said the C word. Now we're going to have to fight conquest. Brimstone, Brimstone, Guppy. We can become Guppy. It's a, it's not likely, but it's doable now. Oh, my God. 26 minutes here. And not really picking up the pace as much as I would like. This is good, though. Theoretically. I don't really want to use my last bomb to try for it. Um, if we get a key, we could go into our shop and blow up our donation machine and make that work for us. The orbital really is huge. I know that people, you know, they get down on using the orbital offensively when it's so close to your body. And there's reasons that are, you know, very good for getting down on that. However, it also gives us pretty much our most reliable or at least best damage dealer. 
which is sad. It really is sad. I wish it wasn't, but uh, it, this is the situation. Now, there is a big room. I don't really want to do it. We've been to our item room, and now we're going to go to our shop. I, I, I can't really... Oh, I bought the fucking pill. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was going to try to get Hive Mind. I guess the good news is that we wouldn't have gotten enough money anyway. However, that sucks. <laughs> I would have liked Blue Candle, perhaps. Look, there's something to be said for using Suicide King here, but it's a little too risky for even me. So we head down to the Depths Part 2. We know that as long as we live, we'll have a deal with the Devil. And a Krampus fight is not the... Um, not the annoyance that it is for some people, because we uh, would really benefit from having Lump of Coal plus Tiny Planet. We have to go into every curse room, that's a huge help. Um, let's see if we can get some keys here, just so we don't have to go back many times. We're gonna be out of money pretty quickly here, so I don't expect this to take too long. The extra bombs are nice, you know, maybe we'll get bombs or key, or maybe we'll just find Tinted Rocks. They could be valuable for me. Or maybe two bombs is exactly enough to just blow you guys up and never have to worry about it again. And there's our financial situation accounted for, at the very least. That would probably be a really good room on which to use uh, the pony's active effect. You know, the pony's active effect. The, the standard Polish uh, game design principle. A little moonwalk pony action there that actually did help out a lot. I can't believe we're... I mean, I can believe we're alive, but I'm surprised that I'm still thinking about a win on this run. Like, it, it actually... Oh, me? What are you doing, me? I'm surprised that, uh, in spite of a lot of stupid mistakes like that as well, we're still in it here on what I would consider to be one of the worst Eden Seeds. Not to be over-exaggerating here, but one of the worst Eden Seeds that maybe we've ever had. What the? He's barfed out a fly that just perfectly nailed me there. Alright, well, if we find another arcade, that would be fine, but uh, on the interim period, we're not that worried about it. This is good. This is very good. We can hang out right here and be pretty much unassailable. Nicely done. Bombs. Good, good. Bomb here, maybe secret room, but two skulls as well. Two tarot cards. The two tarot cards are, as if I need anything else slowing me down, Justice and the Lovers. So we'll pop Lovers down, and we'll pop Justice down, and that extra Spirit Heart, very nice. And the key, of course. And that's a decent amount of money for our eventual shop. With two keys, I feel okay about coming back to this golden chest. And got another Lovers card out of it. Well, if we do find another Blood Bank on this floor, there's, uh, there's a lot of fuel for it. Ooh, very scary. Uh, speaking of which, there's the Two of Hearts card. I should not have run immediately into that ghost. That's on me. You think we're gonna have a chance to get into that room? I'm, I'm skeptical. Doesn't mean it's impossible, but I, I'm exhibiting some skepticism. What the? Oh my God, it's the ghost. I thought the ghost was dead. More consumables. This. Ramshackle way that I'm playing becomes impossible to maintain under almost every single circumstance once we get to the womb. So I gotta smarten up, but it would really help out if we got some decent shit in the process as well. Try that out. Uh, stupid, unfortunately, because now I have to fight this asshole. Let's go shop first. I mean, we're closer. And I think this is a great situation where we can just completely hang out on top here and not have to worry about uh, any of this shenaniganery happening down here. Yeah, this is a very nice way to deal with enemies that I super hate. Passive ability to fly would allow us to take a space bar item, which would be very, very nice if we got like a candle or something like that. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. Just rude, quite frankly. I gotta say, RoboBaby 2.0 is doing more damage than I thought. Not good damage. More damage than I thought. I don't want to have, like, too heady praise here. But that was nice. That was a pretty good fight. And we'll just, uh, tiny planet the rest of them. 
the stars card. What? How could this possibly be better than Hematomesis for me at this point? It could save me a key, so I guess I will pop it, but there's no way it's better to take down to the next floor under reasonable circumstances. And we got a box of spiders, which with 9 volt is okay. Uh, you know, 9 volt uh, hive mind. But in our situation is more or less just straight up trash. So we're away from it and we're now banking as we always bank on a good deal with the devil here. Or as we have always banked recently at least on a good deal with the devil. And uh, not getting one is a real problem. Potentially. Good. I mean, this cube of bandages, probably not the canonical name, uh, this bandage ball, it has no idea how useful it'll be for us on this run. If we end up winning, ball of fucking bandages is gonna end up playing a surprising role. That's sad, but also maybe awesome. Not a second secret room. Let's do it, Mom, you gotta come down. Let me do that. That was not smart. Got a little overzealous. Perfect. As soon as mom falls, like the foot, we gotta get in there. Oh, that was <laughs> too little too quick on the draw there. We gotta get in there. Get some rotational damage done with Cuban Meat. That's really, really our main draw here. I took too much damage here, but it's, you know, replaceable damage. Maybe Krampus? Dark Matter, gotta try it. Down to the next floor. Man, oh man. Not an XL floor, please. Okay, no XL floor. No egg salad. This is good for us because it's, uh... Come on, what are you doing, dog? What are you doing over here? It's good for us because it uh, gives us that deal with the devil shot, obviously. Now, things are going to get real tricky in here, but we might be approaching the point where Robo Baby's a little worse than Tiny Planet with Dark Matter and, you know, the upgrades damage-wise that we've had there, which are not copious, but exist. And there's a pretty good chance that we fight Krampus on this floor. I'd peg it at maybe 50. Just off the, you know, bottom of my ass there. You know, I'm pulling that number out of nowhere, but we haven't fought him yet, and you usually fight him once per run, so I'd say our chances are pretty good. But maybe we missed him by not getting him, you know, on one of those early floors. Uh, by, by just not getting a deal with the devil, which would be bad because Lump of Coal would be good. Uh, Krampus' head would be worthless, though. Because we'd have to, unless we got passive ability to fly, we have to stick with the pony. It's the only reason I've been able to stay in this relatively well. Uh, if we get not Krampus, two guppy items, Brimstone, Death's Touch, it's gotta be good. I mean, we would take other things. I gotta go back for that, obviously. We would take other things, but those are the, the ones that save us. Which one is the champion here? Probably the bigger one. I guess if they line up like that, it doesn't really matter. All right, Robo Baby, I'm going to give you your fair shake at this this time. Thank you. And we're doing what we can with a very... Oh, this is good. We can see where we're going. Very limited number of pieces available to us, so it's probably directly up. You know what? I think we're going the right way, actually. I think we're going to have to loop around. I might be mistaken, that might cause a little bit of an issue, but I, I think that this is a trick. I think we're supposed to keep going down and then loop around. I've, you know, this isn't my first Rodeo, and uh, I know that the game likes to, you know, lull you into a false sense of security, be like, hey, the boss room's right there, then you end up doing a bunch of dead ends that are annoying as hell. Alright, I was wrong. It happens. We got that sweet chest, though. What about this way? Maybe we were just a little bit too late on the turn. Yeah, okay. Alright, well this seems like you just hang out right here. Ain't nobody dope as me, the best at acting cowardly. My number one dude's Robo Baby, I'm hanging out melancholy. We are the scariest motherfucker on the planet. It's the best I could do here. Ooh, maybe. Oh, fuck. I still don't believe in the jinx. But I gotta admit. <laughs> I, uh, uh, it couldn't have done me any favors to talk about conquest earlier. But we have a deal with the devil. We have that mythical deal with the devil. And who knows the bounty that lies within. 
Deal with the devil. That's a name I've not heard for a long time. I can't... I can't get my hopes up yet. What's better, by the way? Pony or white pony? I guess white pony. So, we got a pony upgrade. It's not good, but it's... It's better than nothing. And sister fucking Maggie. Oh, lord. Why even take it? Anything that shoots straight is a fucking blessing, as far as I'm concerned right now. Now, how do we win? Oh, it's quite simple, really. Uh... We don't. No, it's quite simple, really. We make it to the, uh... We make it to the chests, and we get items on the chest. That's, that's... It's no more complicated than that. Yeah, okay, I'll just take that right away. The hematomesis pill is still valuable. Not what I wanted, but it is what it is. This is a big moment for us. Uh, ideally, we'll just go find, like, a half-heart or something now. I don't want to heal up with hematomesis yet, because there are boss trap rooms. And the boss trap rooms are potentially awesome for us uh, if they give us a guppy item. A guppy's paw, for example, would be potentially amazing. Maybe they'll give us two guppy items. <laughs> it happens. And our tiny planet damage is not straight up awful. It's not the worst thing on the planet. Can't really, can't really justify that. Ah, that's such terrible damage to take. However, we got a great situation when it comes to our HP here. Because we take our half heart, and then we come back and we play the shit out of this guy. Okay, he paid out already. Growth hormones. It's big. It is big. Um, and then I think we got to go for broke. So what we do is we take this guy, and you might be wondering, oh, how are you going to get to a half heart interval in the future? Well, that's hematomesis' job to worry about, not yours. So don't worry about it. Oh, thank God, we got blood bag. Okay. We got to try, because this extra HP might sincerely end up making the difference between life and death. Got to be careful with our invincibility there. Like, I don't want to get too... Too up close and personal. Now we hematomesis. Yeah, we could have done that on a special room, but we're gonna do it there. And now we've got many, many cracks at getting fully healed here. Many, many cracks. Let's just leave. I think let's let's time it and test it. Bear with me here. One. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, I think three is exactly where we want to be. I just said four in my head. To, not to trick the game or anything like that, but to just try to make it work. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think on four we'd probably end up getting hit. Or at least risking it, so... I think that we do, th you know, four plays for every heart. Two, three, four. I'm just gonna blow the key beggar up. Made it a little easier. One, two, three. I'm not feeling that nervous about it not paying out in general, because even if it doesn't, we can, um... One second. One, two, three. Even if it doesn't, we uh, just blow it up now. And then we probably get some red hearts back. Okay, never mind. Uh, this is exceptionally scary, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's quite frightening now, thunderbolts and lightning and all that. Where's my Robo Baby at? It's up here. Could catch him in the web pretty soon. The growth hormones pick up... Again, if it if it wasn't the case that Tiny Planet was our best damage dealer prior to this, it's probably the case now. Never let anyone tell you that I gave up on this run. You know, this run... We're giving it our all. Really scrimping and saving here. That hematomesis. Oh, man. Is it worth our black heart to go into the curse room? I don't know. Oh, I blew up! I blew it up already! Ah, well. Well. I think we can get away with losing our black heart to go to the curse room, but let's... It's only gonna be one black heart, and I just wanted to see if the secret room is maybe, like, right down there, but it's obviously not. So, I'm committed. I'm in. Invested. Let's make this happen. The game has decided that it is no longer very friendly towards me at all. 
We've pulled out some wins in spite of ourselves and in spite of our items, but uh, it's been tight, man. Fly, okay, we broke even, basically. Broke even plus some flies. Big whoop. We gotta take this floor by floor. First things first, we gotta beat mom's hearts. After that, we can talk about how important it is for us to get through the cathedral. And then after that, it's all up to the items that we actually get on the chest. And that's just a cluster fuge in and of itself. Small rock, small rock, small rock, spirit heart. Spirit heart is also good. Hang out over the rocks. I'm a young man. I have time on my side. I If this run takes me four years, I can do it, man. However, I'd prefer if it didn't. I can hide out over the rocks, let Robo Baby do its thing. If that is the best thing for me, that's another spirit heart. We're starting to stack those up. Feeling great. I mean, not really, but I could be feeling worse. Try to get some damage done to these things while also doing damage to this thing. Well, very bad damage on my part. That's all right. Don't let it get under your skin. Fuck with your morale. There's our boss fight down there. Shit, man. What do we want now? Enough bombs to make it through the cathedral. If we bomb our way through, oh, so dumb. So stupid. If we bomb our way through every room on the cathedral, Get to the boss fight. We might be able to beat Isaac. There's no place to hide, but that doesn't mean it can't be done. You, in particular, are going to need you to stay away. Stay back off. Get your own sandwich. There's a lot of steaks uh, on this run, you know? Porterhouses, ribeyes, T-bones. If I lose, it'll become another, you know, card in the deck of, oh, Northern Lion's sucking at Isaac lately. I don't like that. If we win, this is the kind of run where if you ignore or at least discount our earlier mistakes somewhat, it becomes a little bit more like, man, this run really showcases that Northern Lion doesn't need Mom's Knife, Brimstone, shit like that to have a great run. And I, I live for those comments, man. I live for those comments on shit runs where people are like, NL, you did a pretty good job. Especially if, if you pull out a win that's super unlikely. Um, those That it feels good, man. But we gotta actually, like, actively make it happen here. That didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Uh, this is weird. I'm just gonna fire and dodge. I mean, that's pretty much what they should name the game as far as I'm concerned, but uh, like, I'm not gonna worry about Robo Baby at all. I'm just gonna worry about firing backwards and dodging in between the shots here. It's been a little while since we've seen Chubb on a uh, Mom's Heart boss fight, but we're doing damage, man. We are doing damage. Get it done, 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 faster. Oh, we did it, okay. Dodge that. Heading up to the cathedral, baby. Ain't nothing but a cathedral, baby. That's where the Pope lives with his family. If you ignore his auto celibacy. Now, I don't like this guy. However, he's easy to bait. Come on, foot. Use your foot. Use your foot. Mm, not that one. You got the wrong foot. Come on, the dog. Use your foot. Yeah, there you go. All right, we'll be coming back to fight you. Getting a little too attached to the idea of using bombs to get out of this, but we can we can do it. Oh no, you fucked it. Blow it up. Oh shit, get out of here. Put the bomb down. No! I tried to stand in so close to that so that couldn't happen. Oh shit, we're in the shit now. Oh fuck, we're in the fuck now. It doesn't really work, but you get the idea. Okay, there you go. He's about yeah, yeah. No more, no more bomb flies. You dick, you dick. Is good, you know. This is the most important thing to remember is he's more afraid than we are. Like literally, he has the fear shot uh, effect 
attached to him right now. Please. We're looking for people to off fuck, and we're thinking that you should be chief amongst them right now. I don't really want that. So we know that this is a dead end. Oh, okay, this is where we go. Uh, we go up, probably. No, no, here, here, here. No, no! No, it's the wrong enemy! Yes! You got bombs for me? You got no bombs. You're famine. Famine's not so bad. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. All you need to do is live. All you need is live. Doodly doodly do. Put an extra doodle in there. We don't need that money. You need that money. You're gonna buy yourself a something something after this is over. He was too afraid to get close to the door, I guess, and blow up, thereby allowing us to leave and get to the boss room faster. But we're not trying to do any fancy shit anymore. It cost me in a small way earlier. Now we're just gonna play the game. We're gonna play the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, we're gonna kill enemies, and we're gonna fucking beat Isaac, and then we're gonna get to the chest, and the chest is gonna give us some items that I feel we can win with. Or I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna be fucking saline overload. Now you can blow this shit up. I know that you have the power within you. However, I don't want you to. I want you. Why don't you grab a chicken and put it between your knees? That's a Jack Nicholson and Five Easy Pieces reference, just in case you thought I actually went crazy there. Um, which I may have. Don't mind if I do. I want the tarot card. It was worth fighting for, I think. The curse room, oh no, very bad. Curse room is justifiable if I can get more HP, but getting more HP doesn't seem very viable right now. We need two red hard drops to make it work, I think. One, maybe. Now two would be nice, because I already lost some. All right, well this is, uh, in a weird way, I'm very happy with the uh, situation we find ourselves in. Just make sure that you take care of the flies, uh, and we'll just occasionally be shooting shots as we reposition Robo Baby 2.0 to kill these guys without us being at risk of anything bad happening at all, I think. Unless a fly spawns literally right on top of us if they're close, which would just be the worst, man. That would be real shitty. Getting very close to what we have to assume is the boss room. Very displeased with my performance here. I don't want this to be where it ends. I want to win this run. I normally don't wear, you know, my heart on my sleeve like that. But I really, really want this one, and I've worked for it, and I've suffered through the agony. Where's the, where the, where's the ecstasy? Okay, don't get hit on this room, and then at least you got a shot. Then at least you got a chance. Guppy's collar. Guppy's collar. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. All you can really... Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. All you can really ask for, right, is a shot at the dance. Let's try it. You know, if you get in that boss room, anything can happen. Kill one. Kill one. There we go. Kill two. Second one down. So, there we go. All right, all we gotta do is beat Isaac. Please drop like a spirit heart here. Fuck. All right. How do we do this? Fuck, dude. I think we leave Robo Baby right on top of him, and we just focus on dodging. We're gonna have to dodge so much, though. But, like, to get myself in range to actually hit him, we take Robo Baby away, and then I have to dodge, like, into harm's way. And the shots don't really appear to be dealing that much more damage when I do it that way. Let's show Guppy's Collar our appreciation for it. All you gotta do is survive, man. This is, in, in many ways, in some ways, this is the easiest boss fight of all. Because all you have to do is survive. That doesn't happen that often. Usually you gotta focus on some dirtier stuff. You gotta get some kills. 
Fuck. Can you blame me on that one? I mean, the first couple of floors, losing those deals with the devil is painful, but fuck, man, that was a tough one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We're going to be back with a random run next. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you then.